Coming soon, a report card on teachers. How does your child's teacher measure up? A judge ruled today that the city's Department of Education can release performance ratings on 12,000 teachers. But the teachers union wanted to keep the ratings private. Fox 5's Nicole Johnson with more. Great teachers don't get rewarded, and the bad teachers don't get removed from the system. The director of an education reform documentary, Bob Bowden, tells us a judge's decision to allow the Department of Education to release performance ratings for city teachers will hold teachers accountable. You really can't get rid of a bad teacher. So releasing teacher performance data, if your kid is stuck in one of those classes, that's one of the bad teachers, and there are a lot of great teachers, this will at least provide some sort of argument for parents to say, we need another choice. Monday's ruling says teachers' names attached to the ratings was not arbitrary under law. The judge denied a petition by the teachers' union to keep the names private. In a statement, the UFT president says, we are disappointed and intend to appeal as soon as possible. But the city law department said the court has affirmed the city's belief that the public has a right to this information under New York's Freedom of Information law. Tonight, parents in the city we spoke with have mixed reactions. Our teacher is there to instruct kids and it's part of public record. And since as a public service, I think that it's I mean, I, I would hope it's not abused. I don't think that publishing that is going to make a teacher any better. Either a teacher has a great heart and is a wonderful one, and I have two kids, and my kids have amazing teachers. And publishing their scores or ratings wouldn't change a thing I would do. The debate on this is far from over, especially with the teachers' union's plans on appealing. Nicole Johnson, Fox 5 News. A construction.